Okay, so in this video, I am gone nah. Show you how you can make your very own password generator in Python. And not just any password generator. A really good one that creates strong passwords that you can actually use and trust. So let's get into it. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome. We do Python tutorials and projects to help you learn Python in a fun and easy way. So keep watching for more. So first off, we need to import two things. We need to import random and string. I mean, these two things are going to help us pick characters for our password. So first off, we have string ASCII underscore letters. This gives us all the letters from A to Z and from A to Z. Then we have string digits, which gives us all the numbers from 0 to 9. And finally, we also have string punctuation, which gives us all the symbols. Now that we have all these characters, we need to actually make the password. So we're going to make a function called generate underscore password. It takes one argument, which is the length of the password. And if you don't give it an argument, it will default to 12 characters. Now inside of this function, we're going to create a variable called pool. The pool is just a list of all the characters that we're going to use. And we create it by combining all the lists that we got from string. ASCII underscore letters, string, punctuation, and string, digits. So now we have a list of all the characters. Now we just need to pick one character from this list for each position in the password. So we're going to create a password variable, and it's going to be an empty string. Then we're going to loop from zero to the length of the password. And in each iteration, we regon na, pick a random character from the pool, and we regon na, add it to the password. Finally, after the loop finishes, we're going to print the password. And that's it. That's how you generate a password. Let's see what happens when we run this. Each time you run it, you'll get a brand new strong password like this. 123 generated. Try it out. By the way, if you want a GUI version or a web version, let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, if you want to be a software engineer, it's not about how much you know, but how much you can build. So go out there and start building. I promise you, the more you build, the better you'll become. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.